YouTube, this is Frightmare 100 and I'm back with yet another contest entry. Um, I seem to be doing a lot of these recently. Um, I think I'm becoming a, a bit of a contest whore by the looks of it. But <clears throat> saying that, I, I had to do this one. Um, show my support for one of my favourite channels on here um, Chris Victoria Film Game Junkies. They make some fantastic videos, got a fantastic channel. Um, they just seem really down to earth. Um, the channel, the videos that they do make, they mix them up. Uh, they've got some great intros for them. They do things like a, a walkabout where they take it shopping with them. Um, they also have a mix of genres, so you, you know you're not just seeing one genre. Um, they go and pick up all sorts, mixed bags of stuff, and it just makes for interesting videos. Um, I think I've pretty much followed them from day one. Um, and yeah, always, always enjoy the videos, always look forward to seeing them. Um, and now they've managed to, to knock up the first contest. Um, big congratulations to both of you, you, you know, the 250 subscribers. I think you're actually up to maybe 260, I think it's 259, 260 by now. Um, more than well deserved, absolutely fantastic. Um, and I'm sure that you'll, you'll crack on, you'll be at three, four, five hundred. In no time, you managed to get to the, the 250 mark in four months. So I don't know, maybe give it a year and you'll be up to them thousand subscribers. I'm, I'm pretty sure that you know there's plenty of people out there that'll enjoy your stuff. And if we can get your name out there and, and keep plugging your channel, then all the best to you. Hopefully, you know, doing this contest and, and people doing these entries will get you a few more. But it's well deserved. Um, so yeah, that's. My bit of rambling on, but Chris Victoria again, massive congratulations. The contest itself is really interesting. Um, it's one of them questions that's it can be really straightforward, um, you can make it as easy as you like, or you can make it difficult. It's the first part, what's your favourite genre, and can you pick three of your favourite films from that genre? Now, obviously it's, it's pretty obvious that my favourite genre is horror, so I'm going to choose horror. I do watch all sorts of films. Um, I like my action films now and again, um, comedy films, I love watching some comedy, um, fantasy type films, um, thrillers, it, it just depends what mood I'm in. It just so happens that nine times out of ten I'm in a mood to, to come into my little cave here and grab one of these things off the shelf and stick it in, sit back and, and hopefully my aim is to try and find that one film that scares me. Um, that feeling you get when you're young and you jump and you're scared and your heart's going um, and you get that bit of adrenaline rush you know I think that's why we, we watch these things or a big part of why I watch them I'm, I'm chasing that but yeah other than that I mean I'd obviously I, I enjoy them anyway um, and it's one of them genres where the directors and the people that make them can you know really use their creativity um, most of the films they don't need to be based in, in reality um, so you've got that kind of fantasy element so you can suspend your disbelief and just spend a couple of hours you know either having a laugh and you know watching something bloody and gory and that doesn't really make any sense so you can watch something that's deep and meaningful and atmospheric and, and still really enjoy it so the genre for me um, it's also where a lot of you know big name directors people start off um, and get to apply the trade and, and create their art. And it's it's just a massive genre for me. Um, but yeah, that's enough rambling. Um, as I say, my, my favourite genre is horror. Um, you know, I could I could go through the shelf and show pretty much most of the stuff I've got. Um, when it comes to my favourites, we've got things like Nightmare on Elm Street. I always say it's um, my favourite franchise, my favourite big name franchise. Freddy Krueger, my favourite horror character, absolutely love his stuff. Um, something a bit more recent, go with Let the Right One In. Um, fantastic take on, on a vampire tale, um, beautifully made, beautifully shot, the acting's fantastic, the premise, the idea behind it is, is brilliant. Um, absolutely adore this one. You know, we could have a look at the, the Dead films, the Romero stuff. Um, one of my favourite directors, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I've mentioned this is one of my very favourites as well, um, it's 
That's why I picked up the one and only hard box, the XT hard box that I've got. Um, my favourite of the three, we've got something like Evil Dead 2. Um, absolutely fantastic. And obviously Sam Raimi's gone on to, to be a, a big name director, hopefully. He gets back, I know Evil Dead uh, 4, um, the fourth instalment should be coming out in the not so distant future, so I'm looking forward to seeing that and seeing him get back to his roots. Um, Jaws, you know, my favourite, uh, sorry, the first horror film I ever watched, so that holds a, a particularly strong place. Um, we've got a cool tale of werewolves, ginger snaps, absolutely love this, um, great, great film. The three I'm going to pick, um, I've got a big stack of films here, so I'm kind of going. So let's go with this. Um, as I say, sometimes you, you're just in the mood to kind of stick in a film, not have to think about it so much, but you know, you can just sit back and enjoy it. Plenty of blood and guts of gore. And my favourite of that kind of thing is Tokyo Gore Police. It's completely crazy, um, doesn't particularly make very much sense, but you just sit back, you can switch off and enjoy it for what it is. Plenty of gore. Um, I have to pick this one as well, so it's my second pick, Shaun of the Dead. I've mentioned it plenty of times and I just never get bored of this film. Um, as I say, I am into other genres, but this film kind of encapsulates many different ones. So you, you've obviously got your horror elements, there's a the comedy element, there's kind of a romance element to it as well. Uh, there's some action in there. I think it, it just, whatever mood you're in, you can stick this in and take something from it. Um, so that has to be up there. Um, my third pick, let's, I don't know, let's, let's have a look what we've got. Man, I can just show everything. Um, Alright, let's let's go with this. I know that Paul Salma the God, he'll go with this one. Um, I agree with you mate, it's one of my very favourites, I really enjoy this one, Dead Snow. Um, what do you say, Blood on Snow looks fantastic, simple as that, you know. Everything about this film I, I enjoyed, um, really well made, the effects are fantastic, now obviously the, you get the feeling that the people who made it have a love for the genre, you know, there's, there's plenty of nods to, to classics of the past, um, absolutely fantastic, dead snow. So yeah, they're my three picks, I'd say mate, it's, it is tough, you, you could just go down the shelves and, and pick pretty much everything out, um, there is a few stinkers in there but in general I absolutely love everything I've got. Now the second part, um, it's going to be a struggle for me is this one, sorry mate, but you know I'm going to give it a go, let's let's see what we get with it. Um, <clears throat> I'm just looking for, just bear with me. This is literally every game in my collection. Um, so we're just going to rifle through these, as I say I've got PlayStation, so the PlayStation 3 games, um, I think all of them apart from two are ones that I actually bought um, or I got with it when I bought it. Um, so yeah, sorry mate. First up we've got Little Big Planet. I think I've played it a couple of times. It's alright for what it is. Um, I do have a character on him, I've just not put, even put it in for a year or so, so I'm not, I can't really remember. Then we've got Call of Duty World at War. Um, the cool games and I do enjoy watching people play them. Um, I just I don't know what it is, I start playing them and I, I just get bored and decide to switch it off and see what's on TV. Um, Call of Duty World at War, uh, sorry, Modern Warfare. Um, I think I played that one a little bit more than the other, but not a great deal. This has never seen the light of day, or it hasn't since I bought it. I've got the microphones, they came with it as well. This is SingStar. Um, got Motorstorm. That came with it, I think I played it once, it's, it's not great to be honest. Um, Resistance, Fall of Man, these are so old as well, I bought my PS3 maybe 3 or 4 years ago. And so these are well out of date, there's, there's going to be nothing really modern. Um, it's not really a game but this came with it as well, um, the iToy, iCreate. Um, this one I actually used once and I tried to make a little stop animation thing to make it look as if our room was haunted, um, moving some chairs around and stuff, but it didn't really work, I was going to try and scare my wife with it. Now when I say I play a couple of games, um, 
I play football games and my favourite is Pro Evolution, I'm more into Pro Evolution than I am FIFA. Um, I know this is an older one but the more recent ones people have kind of slagged them off basically so I kind of stuck with this one, I do enjoy this one. Um, I don't play it very often but every now and again there's nothing on TV and I don't know what to do then I'll pop that in and have a couple of games. But the one that actually holds memories for me and it's the one and only one that does Resident Evil, this is Resident Evil 5 and I've finally got around to completing this one um, just over the last week or two. I've been playing it, I completed it on easy and then went through and completed it on medium, I'm actually about halfway through um, on the difficult level. And I really enjoyed it. it it's hard because it's not to me a Resident Evil game. I remember when I was a kid and playing the first Resident Evil and I couldn't afford to go out and buy it. Um, so me and a friend had walked down to this kind of game rental store and we'd rent it out for a couple of days and go and play it and then take it back and then we'd rent it the following week. And by the time I completed it and you know I probably should have just bought it the money that we spent. Um, but yeah, I mean, it obviously it harks back to the, the horror element as well. Um, Silent Hill is another one that I, I did play and I did enjoy. But Resident Evil, if anything, is, you know, the series of games that I really have an affinity for. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's my entire game collection. That's not going to be classed as an entry. Um, I'm not a gamer, but I thought I'd chuck that in there. But yeah, um, hopefully that's okay, mate. Uh, Chris, Victoria. Again, absolutely fantastic, big congratulations on all the subs and I'm sure you'll you'll go on to, to bigger and better things. Um, but they're my picks, hopefully that's good for an entry. Best of luck to everyone that enters and we'll catch you soon. This has been Frightmare 100, take it easy.